dear souls, welcome back for another session of Hare Krishna Mahamantra Meditation. Musical style is how I like to do it personally. I hope that's okay with everyone, but you really don't have a choice. Again, um, that's uh, not very nice on my part to pretend like you have a choice, but then take it away um, like that, if that makes sense to souls out there in the world. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with what this Hare Krishna Mahamantra is, it's comprised of three names, Hare Krishna and Rama. And then those three names are comprised and constructed into a 16 named sentence, or worded sentence, but they really are names. Um, and what it does is it soothes the heart, you know, in a way that in my personal experience, a lot of other things couldn't at all. Whether it be a burger, or, you know, watching a movie, or, you know, watching something else, or, you know, doing something else, um, you know, whatever it is, you know, we find, at least in my personal experience, that the effect is very temporary, and it doesn't last, in other words, that's kind of, this, well, that is the same thing, so I would say, to ourselves, out there in the world, and, um, Yeah, in my personal experience, it never quite fully satisfied the heart, those things, or those interactions, or, you know, really anything within the material world. Um, and so, what the yoga meditation texts explain is that, um, from ancient India, sorry, I meant to say, uh, they explain that, um, that's what this material world is for, is to go deep into meditation, um, you know, and does deep mean you go off somewhere into the Himalayas uh, and renounce everything and just chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra all day? Um, no, um, perhaps there are people that do it out there, um, but you know, in certain yoga texts, um, from ancient India, it's not recommended, you know. Um, uh, what is recommended is that uh, we express this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra um, with our heart, but still engage with the world, be in the world, in other words. Um, and... You know, that means that we can be in the world in either one of two ways. With an incredibly open heart or a closed heart. And we can maybe see whether our heart is open or closed or to what degree, if that makes sense to ourselves out there in the world, by how we act and react. Um, do we give people the look, you know, when people aren't pleasing our external gross material senses the way we want them to? You know, um, do we slam the teacup uh, down on the table harder than what we could have when things don't go our way? Um, you know, these are all signs, at least in my experience and as far as I'm aware, of a closed heart, you know, a frustrated heart. And so this Hare Krishna Mahamantra is a way just to break all of that down so to speak, or quite literally actually, at least as far as I'm aware, and also my personal experience, and to just um, open ourselves up uh, to more love, you know. And the word love has been banded around quite sentimentally, so whenever we hear that word, I'm just generalizing here, we may go, oh, you know, that's nice, love, but um, according to this ancient wisdom from ancient India, these ancient yoga meditation texts from ancient India, they explain, uh, not these words exactly, I'm just paraphrasing, well I'm just kind of going off what I've read and what I can remember, and also what I've experienced and realized as well, is that there is a love that is genuine, um, that comes through meditation, um, but not just any kind of meditation, you can meditate on anything. 
You can meditate on a TV show that is meditation. It's just what kinds of meditations are going to fulfill us completely and what kinds of meditations are going to kind of sap the very life energy from us. And uh, we should never feel bad about where we are at uh, in our life, you know, whatever's going on for us, whatever attachments, thoughts, feelings we have, if that makes sense to ourselves out there in the world. Um, we uh, simply have to add little sprinkles of this meditation into our life as it is. That's what I recommend anyway, because it's never, you know, there's a great quote. I'm just trying to remember, I apologize to ourselves out there in the world, from this great saint and soul, His Holiness Devon Medeswami, who explains that love cannot be forced, you know. So if someone presents you with a, a method for gaining genuine love, you know, they can't actually force it on you. You have to uh, apply it in a way that's most comfortable, and then gradually, gradually, things change. Uh, over time, um, at least that's the way that I approach this meditation. So we'll begin with some Hare Krishna Maha Mantra meditation, and for those of you who aren't familiar with this mantra, mantra simply means to free the mind. Man means mind, and tra means to free. If you break the word mantra into two syllables, there, if that makes sense to ourselves out there in the world, and um, the mantra goes. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. I'll say it one more time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Maybe one more time slowly. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Maybe one more time slowly. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. And it's okay if you haven't gotten the hang of it yet. You know, it's just about slowly easing yourself into this meditation and finding a love that can actually reciprocate with you in the way that we've always wanted, you know. Another human being cannot do that. Um, at least, you know, uh, persons who are um, simply focused on body and mind, you know, uh, there's no uh, power there, so to speak. Um, yeah, but um, I'm specifically sorry, I'm say I'm specifically referring to this mantra in particular, which goes any sorry, I'm say beyond any mundane, so to speak, creature. You know, who walks the earth. Um, And then for those of you who are applying this mantra into your life, or are considering, or are very new to this process, you know, once we begin, then we're actually able to give genuine love to others, um, which goes beyond a hug and everything else that's like a hug. You know, it's so temporary and flickering and ephemeral. I don't know if that's the right word. I apologize to us also in the world of it. Well, if it's not so, so to ourselves out there in the world. Okay, we'll begin. Okay, so I'm going to do it musical style. Feel free to join in with me, listen with me, hum with me, scream with me, shout this mantra with me, sing this mantra with me. Every mantra, every second mantra, lying down, sitting, standing, uh, walking here to there, um, spinning around, anything, dancing, clapping, anything you need. This is about you for you. Um, it's about healing, you know, the heart, becoming conscious of who you really are, which is soul beyond body and mind, which is illuminating the whole body, making the body animate. That's why when we, soul, leave the body, the body suddenly is inanimate and pale and, you know, and as far as I'm aware, even modern Western scientists, they can't give a definitive cause for our conscious awareness and our ability to be conscious. Uh, so it's not to consider. Okay, so we'll begin. Krishna, 
Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, Rama. Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare. Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Oh Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Oh Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Oh Rama Rama Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Oh Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna
Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama oh, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Na Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Well done, dearest souls. Thank you so much for your hearts. At least as far as I'm aware, because these are all pre-recorded, unfortunately. But, um, you know, I'm just assuming here very strongly that we're all using our hearts, because why wouldn't we, you know? But don't feel bad if you didn't, and you don't, you know? Because through this process, simply of Hare Krishna Mahamantra meditation, your heart softens anyway to the point where you want to put your heart into these meditations. And it's never a thing, so to speak, if that makes sense, there are souls out there in the world of, oh, there's them and there's me, you know. No, or there's us and there's them. No, we all have hearts. It's just a matter of where are we putting our heart. Are we putting our hearts into things that provide dry, so I meant to say dry, cardboardy flavour that doesn't last? Or are we starting to put our hearts into something that is just full of what I call bhakti juice? You know? um, bhakti, as far as I'm aware, it means genuine love, you know, a love that goes beyond any material arrangement, circumstance, I may say the same things. I apologize if they are dearest souls out there in the world. A love that doesn't require clothes. A, a love that doesn't require a house. You know, because all of these things will come and go. Um, you know, but what can remain constant is this expressing of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra in a way that you feel most comfortable with it. It's thinking it speaking it or talking it, in other words, to ourselves out there in the world, shouting it, screaming it, singing it, humming it, mouthing it. We could all lose our voices. Sorry, I meant to say to ourselves out there in the world. We could all lose our voices. So what are we going to do then? You know, we can mouth it. We can think it. Um, 
Yeah, it's a completely unconditional process. And I invite warmly and kindly everyone to give it a go in a way that you feel most comfortable at any pace. You know, um, it can even, not even, so I'm going to say to ourselves that in the world, it can start with one mantra, you know, a day or a year or a decade. You know, it really, we're all on our own walkabout, so to speak, or journey. Um, and, yeah, whatever we start with, it just grows more and more. Not necessarily in terms of volume in an external way, but in terms of deepness of how, how deep we go into the meditation. Because you could be an incredibly busy father who owns a business and, you know, has three children or four children, however many children, you know, how deep are they going? Not necessarily, oh, you must give up all of these things and chant or express in a way that you feel most comfortable a million or a billion or more mantras a day. No, that's not the point. As far as I'm aware and as far as I understand, how deep are you going? That's the question. So, thank you all. Hare Krishna, take care. Hare Krishna, especially spiritually. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.